Hello there, fellow uh, Hot Pepper members. So, I've been meaning to get around to doing this, but I got so busy with um, school starting and Christmas and everything, and just uh, the usual life necessities going on that I didn't get to uh, document this well. But here is my um, aeroponic system. As you know, if you've already read my thread, it's... Um, I've got it to where the misters here. Let me take a look at the misters here. Well, the the whole idea behind the um, aeroponic system is different. There's there's high pressure aeroponics and there's low air pressure aeroponics. Uh, and the low pressure aeroponics uses misters that create real thick water droplets. Um, kind of like out of a spray bottle maybe you might expect uh, with the high pressure aeroponics which is what I have here or HPA um, the droplet size is very small it's like a fog so basically um, now this system isn't a hundred percent complete as you can see I got a fan on that fourth um, goalie but here's what the misters look like um, as you can see there the orifice is tiny on this thing, so it's going to create a really fine mist whenever um, a high pressurized solution is fed through this tube. So basically what happens is uh, the high pressure solution goes through the tube and it's going to spray out here um, onto the roots. And as you can see, here's kind of how it works. We got a little uh, insert where they go that I drilled and let me see here okay so this is a tiny tom tomato this guy you know he's like a week old so he's doing pretty bad eh um, now take a look at his root system you see that root I mean just phenomenal growth from this system I'm ecstatic from that growth it's kinda hard to see but he has got root hairs on all of that root just phenomenal I mean that roots six inches long probably so pretty good um, and then we got so that's a tiny Tim tomato we got two Roma tomatoes in here um, I got I believe this is some kind of like uh, Calora pepper here this one's doing awesome look how beautiful those leaves are very nice uh, it's got a killer root system too we've got um, a Bulgarian carrot right here and some of these plants, you know, you notice they're not looking too good. Um, that's because I, this was previously an NFT, and I converted the NFT to this high-pressure aeroponics recently. So these plants have maybe been in there over a week. Um, so, you know, this was put in about when the high-pressure arrow started, maybe a little bit after. But as you can see, um, you know, there's some dying leaves and such, and that's because of the root growth. The problem with NFTs that I had was that um, you have to water, and here's what I was using too. I was using this to water from the top. Um, you know, I was doing a good squirt um, from the top to wet them down because those things dry out quick. The little rock bowl cubes. I mean, these guys, you know, this guy's looking. Little, they get they get uh, dry quick and so what basically what you see happen is the plants roots die off because the roots aren't wet um, so they just become brown and die and that's what was happening in pretty much all of these plants you know with the NFT system you got a little bit of water flowing at the bottom here you know a couple centimeters tall at most and so the roots have to really get all the way down to the bottom to get solution uh, so they recommend you start them in, you know, these humidity domes and then transfer. But even doing that, I found it to be uh, not very successful. I, like I say, I mean, those plants aren't looking good. This one here right in front of me, this pepper here, um, that's the serrano. Now, you notice that, like, the bottom half is just bare. And that's because almost all the leaves fell off whenever I switched it to high-pressure arrow. So that wasn't a very good deal. Um, but the plants are bouncing back. Let's say I got two Romas, Tiny Tim, Bulgarian cher Carrot, uh, Serrano. 
And then here, this whole row is jalapeno peppers. And I got this one that's a little younger here. That's because, um, well, it's because I started them in Rockwell cubes and, and one of them died out uh, in the NFT. These were, you know, those are, uh, were started a little bit before I converted to high pressure air. So there's that, and in this row is actually, I'm going to put an, a blank insert here so that there's plenty of root growth for these two tomatoes. And I'm going to put that tiny tin there where the fan is. I'm going to put another tiny tin over there. So there's going to be eventually two tiny tins in that fourth goal. So that's pretty much the, the plants and everything. Um, I, I built the system completely out of PVC parts, PVC glue. Uh, you can see the light here. This is the. I'm gonna get a little closer uh, so you can read it. This is the Quantum T5 Bad Boy, and let me tell you, this light is awesome. It covers a wide area. It stays relatively cool. Now you see the fan. I do need a fan still because the temps, you know, it's 79 degrees there, and it's about oh. 76 in the house so with that fan on just that little vortex fan um, you know it's keeping it almost as cool as the house is three degrees above so not too bad but it still puts off some heat but you can get pretty close to the plants they really like that and it covers a wide space so you don't have to do any calculations or anything measure the reflector um, you just know it's going to work really uh, it's just it, it actually has a nice look to it you know i like it so anyway, so I got the T5 Quantum Bad Boy 8 bulb setup, um, and then for the high pressure arrow, we got all these controls, and yeah, I mean, it's just a mess over here. I'm going to eventually think put an extension cord and wrap it around here to this corner. Uh, that's a project when I have a little more money. I've about drained all my money building this thing. So anyway, um, so what we got over here, we got a plant timer. And we've got down there is the Art DNE timer that has you can set this off time to um, you know starts at one minute and you can go all the way to eight hours off time and then the on time here uh, the on time can be set down to one second so that's uh, pretty convenient because with the high pressure arrow you want the mist to spray very briefly like one second. If you go less than that, I think it'd be even better, but one second's pretty good because um, you want the plant roots to be uh, fuzzy and not soaking wet. When they're soaking wet, you can't see the fuzzies, and the fuzzy roots are what helps maximize the surface area of the root so that nutrients can be taken up and brought in um, to the plant to help nourish it. So you want to keep the roots fairly dry so that's what the benefit of the short cycle is now uh, so that's just the electronic components and then down here uh, here's my reservoir on the left side here and then on the right side is just a box containing all the components of the system it was really sore on the eyes when you looked at it um, before I had this box I put it up on some like old wood looking stuff um, just drilled all the you know, I had a piece of wood, like a plywood, and I drilled it all to that. It didn't look very good, so I switched to this. Um, yeah, it looks better. Okay, so here's what's going on in here. We got the reservoir here. You know, bubbling and looking pretty nice. And so we got, um, this is the inlet tube. And the inlet tube hooks up to a 200 mesh inline filter right there and then it goes down to the pump the pump pumps it back out and then right here that dude is the pressure switch on the left there uh, so the pressure switch controls when the pump turns off and it's set at 80 psi so whenever the pump starts working and fills up this accumulator here. I have it wrapped because I didn't want it shaking. But this here is an accumulator. It's a two gallon accumulator, well extrol. And let me see if I can show you the connection. Boom. So you can see there's a pressure relief valve 
and that's hooked up to a pressure gauge, which is hooked up to the pressure switch to the pump. So basically, once this tank gets pressurized to 80 psi, that pressure switch tells the pump to stop, and then the pump kicks back on at about 60 psi. Once so, and the point of this is the pressurized tank is filled with water, pressurized water. So instead of continuously running the pump, this tank is going to shoot out water instead. Um, so that's going to extend the pump life and it's also going to prevent um, moments of low pressure. You want the solution, since you're only doing one second on off uh, on cycles, you want this spray to be, um, you want it to spray for one second and you want it to be at you know, 60 to 80 psi immediately. You don't want it to start at 20 and then so on and so forth because, oh, just kicked on, because that's going to uh, cause big water droplets. So you don't want that to happen, so that's the accumulator tank provides that purpose. It releases pre-pressurized pre nutrient solution to the misters. So they're immediately going to have anywhere from 60 to 80 psi water. Um, and it's, again, you know, it's a vital piece of this. And then there in the corner you see it, that's the solenoid. And the solenoid is what's hooked up to the timer. So when the timer kicks off, the solenoid closes. When electricity runs to the solenoid, it opens it. Uh, it's, you know, it's kind of like a hammer. Whenever the electricity is gone, it's closed. Whenever electricity shoots through, it opens up and lets the water through. So, uh, you, you know, that's how that works. Um, so yeah, and it's all contained in there. Uh, pretty safe actually, because I got the pump in its own little box so that if the pressure relief valve over here, uh, if that ends up leaking, then it's not going to fry the parts. So, uh, and there's more improvements to be done. I'm gonna tidy this up um, and with, the, with these clips here, see how I kinda, they've got adhesive backing to them and they're adjustable. You can adjust how big they are, but anyway, so that kind of helps make the system look nicer. So anyway, um, here, before I go, I know this has been a long video, sorry guys, but I'm gonna show you how the spray looks. So here's the nozzle, and it's gonna go off here soon. Pretty soon, I assume. Hopefully you can see it. You see that? Boom! And uh, you can see in there too, it might be hard to see on the camera, but you can see mist floating around in there too. So anyway, uh, if you guys have any questions about the system, comments, whatever, please feel free to leave some. Thanks. Bye.